Oh, geez. Is it PlayStation Project time already? I gotta get moving. I just, I just put those there, by the way. I mean, can you imagine how weird it would be if someone actually slept with their games? I'm on a mission to collect a hundred PlayStation games in just seven days. And to be honest, it's off to a bit of a slow start. It's day three of the challenge, and this is the list of the games that we have in the collection so far. And if I want to get back on pace to finish this challenge in the next four days, I have to buy 24 PlayStation games in one day. The best we've done up until this point is 12. Folks, this is the PlayStation Project. But here's the problem. My wife Erica and I are saving up for a house right now, and as it turns out, houses are more expensive than PlayStation games. So I'm trying to build this entire collection with no money out of pocket. I've got a $185 budget that carried over from yesterday, and now I'm heading into this pawn shop to see if we can make some more. Okay, so that was kind of unexpected and weird. Almost every PlayStation 4 game in that store was priced basically at market value, except this one, Fate Stella Umbral Star, was only eight bucks, and I'll be able to get 28 for it after fees on Amazon. And that $20 profit is going to go into our overall PlayStation budget for the day, bringing it up to $205. Good morning, welcome to McDonald's. Will you be using the mobile app today? Could I get a... Um couple McPlaystations. Folks, here we are again in the McDonald's parking lot with our mystery, mystery GameCube, GameCube box. box. Leeching off of their free Wi-Fi to do a live auction to build our PlayStation budget just a little bit more. Shout out to the least exciting games from the GameCube Gambit for supplying this inventory. Game number one is Odama on the GameCube. Looks like it is complete. And of course, a huge shout out to Whatnot for sponsoring this series. Game number two, oh, Lost Kingdoms 2. This one we paid 154 dollars for I'm optimistic that this will be very helpful in pushing our budget as far as it can possibly go for the day and you know what because yesterday was a little rough I'm actually gonna pull a third one Ooh, rocket power beach bandits Ooh, who's that handsome fella this is my auction right here there's my preview running I already went ahead and listed the three games let's see how this pans out gonna start out with a sweet complete Odama game today getting this started jester's thrift thanks so much for that purchase $25 really appreciate you up next rocket power beach bandits andrew congratulations on that win really appreciate that folks the last one of the day lost kingdoms to fold up mission at 144 dollars for anyone who's still here say hi to youtube what's going on <laughs> they're all saying hi we're coming away with an extra 236 dollars for the playstation fund now folks i don't know about you but i'm about ready to take my 441 dollars and buy some PlayStation games, which is why I'm here at Two Dudes Gaming, and I have a very good feeling that their selection is gonna be top notch. All right, folks, so I'm here with Justin, Will, and Jerry from Two Dudes Gaming. I guess we have four dudes in here at this point. I was just telling them earlier about the PlayStation project that I'm working on, and I'm realizing right now, I think it would be a little bit easier to show you guys rather than tell you, so I'll be right back. What I'm about to show you is a sight for sore eyes. I think we have reached video game PlayStation 1 Mecca. Look at this. Oh. I can't even, I can't. They're all, they've got their cases. They're in nice shape. I just, I can't even believe the selection here. I'm gonna start digging into these and just let you guys know what's catching my eye. Oh man, first game, Disney's Atlantis. This is definitely one I'd be interested in, but the number one priority has to be games on the list. Ooh, getting a crash game definitely is on the list for me. Crash Team Racing wouldn't be my first choice, so I'm gonna see if they have any other ones. Ooh, another Disney one. Ooh, Tomb Raider 3, but I'm pretty sure we already have a Tomb Raider game. Checked off the list, so I'll leave this one behind as well. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. I cannot tell you guys the number of memories I have playing this game for $15, Black Label, Complete Crash Bash. I could not be more thrilled about this game. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Folks, I am embarrassed to say this, but this is a game that I played a ton in my childhood that I totally forgot to add to my nostalgia list. It's a fantastic Mega Man collection game that honestly, as a kid, I don't think I was skilled enough to beat most of these levels, but I loved it anyway. Ooh, and also right beneath it, we've got GTA 2 and GTA London. You guys are gonna make fun of me, but I have never played a GTA game, so I knew I wanted to get one of them in this collection. Ooh. I'm gonna go with two because it's a little more classic. Look, and right underneath those, Spider-Man. I'm almost sure this one is on the list too. It's another one, folks. It's another one. Metal Gear Solid for 40 bucks complete. A ton of you guys recommended this one for the collection. When I owned a PS1, I was too young to play this, but I was seriously so excited about adding this one. Folks, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, look at this. Grand Theft Auto original. Definitely am gonna prefer this one to the sequel, even though it's the collector's edition. Also, it's $5 cheaper, which is gonna make a huge difference because I can already tell we're not going to have enough cash to buy everything that we need from this store. Oh, and there it is, folks. Didn't I just say, didn't I just say Gran Turismo earlier? And this copy is $10. There's another one. Croc, Legend of Gobos, also 15 bucks. Oh, and look at this, Pac-Man 20th anniversary. Yeah. Oh, you ugly, just kidding. Oh, but hold up, another one. Hey, Jedi Power Battles. Oh, that's so nostalgic. I used to play this game all the time with my dad and we could not get past this like one level deep into the game. I actually went back and played it not too long ago. Turns out the game is super janky. <laughs> At the time, I was convinced I was just a terrible gamer. Now I realize there was, there was a decent bit of wonkiness in this game. This is another one people suggest suggested a ton odd world never played this franchise before but apparently it's good well Justin I found quite the stack of low dollar ps1 games I'm not sure how much more I can afford than this I haven't added them all up but I am kind of curious either way what kind of stuff you might have in this case down here Wow all right folks so here are the other games that Justin pulled out of the high dollar stack that we know are on our list oh my gosh Grandia $90 this is the most expensive non grail game that I actually have on my list as I was doing the research for this series I picked a couple grand songs for the intro and outro of these oh, videos because okay. the soundtrack there is incredible go. so I don't this one's gonna have to be a serious contender I may even have to put back some of the lower dollar ones if I don't have the budget because this this is a special game Resident Evil 2 for some reason was recommended much more than the original Resident Evil at 40 bucks though that's a pretty solid uh, deal on that one and then finally folks our first grail game find Castlevania Symphony of the Night this is just one of those games that most people will will often have on their top 10 PlayStation games who've played a lot of games on it. Definitely a special one. Not, I, I don't know if I could prioritize it though over getting like, you know, 10 lower dollar games. Here are all the games laid out that I have picked out. Every single one actually, except for the Mega Man is on this list down here. I would love to move it over to this list over here, but I haven't added it up yet to see what the damage is and how much exactly we have to put back. So let's do that now. All right, Jerry, hit me with the total of both stacks. Total value we have here is $499.36. $499, that's actually a lot closer than I expected, folks. We might be able to get away with only putting away like one or two of these. That's a, that's very exciting. <laughs> so this is 490 something dollars worth of stuff here. We've got 441 to spend. With all the times you've helped and hanging out, how about we just, let's just call it four. $400? Are you, are you really sure about that? That would be like, that would actually be under. I would still have some money to spend. And we talked about maybe another section of the store that might have some other stuff. Wow. I, I can't tell you guys how grateful I am for that. Thank you so much. Folks, 13 games from the actual list in one store. Actually, one of them's not from the list. This one should have been on the list and it wasn't. I just, I my mind is absolutely blown and we've still got 41 to spend. All right, folks, so I'm here still with Justin, 
but now not in the same room he actually took me back to his warehouse space and guess what there's more playstation stuff back here so i'm gonna go through this here and see if i can find 40 more dollars worth of stuff either here or back at the other place because i i did not expect having a surplus of funds to spend here all right so i looked through these ones i didn't find any that uh we don't have already there was a siphon filter there he was mentioning yeah actually atv this is one that i played on the ps2 uh that actually was a pretty good time i may consider that one. Ooh, destruction derby 2 this is one that people mentioned in the comments but i couldn't fit it onto the 20 game list is does that one run very expensive uh be like 10 bucks or okay. Uh, what about the Jet Motos? Bucks each on them too. Let's go for the original there. That looks nice. The thing I was telling Justin earlier is at this point, I'm also definitely in the market for lower dollar games to get us closer to that hundred game mark at the end of the seven days. So we found 20 more dollars worth of games in the warehouse. We have 21 left in the budget and I'd really like to spend it here because they cut us such a great deal. Really looking for cheap games to get our numbers up as much as possible, like maybe Pong, five bucks, perfect. Maybe Rainbow Six, another five bucks. Activision Classics, perfect. I love collection games. GTA, no. Theme Park is 10. Lucky Luke, huh. Editor Riff, is that you? How dare you? Ooh, Marble Master is $5. Nah, close enough. Well folks, $417 later. They gave me an additional discount on the other stuff, even though I said they didn't have to, they just did. If you're ever in the Elizabethton, Tennessee area, I had to make sure I got that right. <laughs> Definitely check out Two Dudes Gaming. This has been an amazing experience. We like to say we're the best video game store in the East. So far East, you come back here. Two Dudes Gaming. <laughs> Folks, Two Dudes Gaming, oh my gosh, has single-handedly turned the trajectory of this series around and I didn't even show you guys everything I got because I also went a little bit crazy and spent over $200 on these 11 PlayStation games to give away in our PlayStation Project Finale Whatnot stream. I mean, we've got Black Label, Chrono Cross, Crash Bandicoot, Resident Evil, and tons more. So as these all go with the others into the Whatnot giveaway bag, make sure that you guys use the link in my description to download Whatnot so that you guys can join us there and also get 10 dollars off if you happen to want to buy anything while you're there. Well folks, because of the generosity of the folks down at Two Dudes Gaming, we still have $22 to spend left in our PlayStation fund. So I've come out to Orbit's video game store in Asheville to see if we can possibly find four more games to achieve our goal for the day. Honestly, it's kind of a win either way, but let's see what we can find. Holy cow, folks, look at this. They have not one, not two, but three of our Grail games all in this one glass case here. This is insane. But that said, there's nothing to stop us from building up more of a budget if we can find stuff to flip in here. Nothing that is except bad Wi-Fi. Ooh, this one though, I know off the top of my head, will be like 10 bucks in profit. I really feel like with all these brand new Amiibos, there could be some really good opportunity there as well. Like this three pack here for $60, I'm almost sure that's underpriced. Worst case, I could sell them individually and at least make my money back. Same thing with this set up here, actually, believe it or not. I'm almost sure after fees brand new, that's like a $200 set. I'm not gonna factor it into the total at this point because I don't know for sure, but I am gonna buy it and we'll figure it out later. Also, I feel like a lot of their guides, like this one's super cool. A lot of them have been priced at a flat 10 a piece. So maybe there are some here that could be worth more. Like Nintendo Power, probably not that one. Oh, no way. Also $10, that's amazing. Does it have the poster though? <gasps> it does. Again, can't look it up, but I have a really good feeling about this. Ooh, there's another GameCube one. I'm not as optimistic about that. I don't think people care too much about it. Oh, no way. Another 10 bucks for Emerald? Does it have the poster though? I don't think this one does, so I may pass on that. <laughs> So folks, including the Crash game, we've now got 34 bucks in the budget. Let's see how many five to $10 games we can find here and maybe get up to that 24 mark for the day. First one I spotted here was Casper. Got the manual and everything. Ooh, 10 bucks, not bad. Don't have an army men game yet. Ooh, very nice. Asteroids as well. Hey, there we go. Ooh, look, Tekken 2 and 3 are both on our list. Let's see. 
Oh, 12 bucks. That's honestly so close. I might just put one of these $10 ones back and swap it out for a five. Sorry, army men, maybe another day. Hello, Sea-Doo Hydro Cross. Hey, perfect price. Well, folks, thanks to Orbit's video games, we're finishing the day out with 24 PlayStation games added to the collection, officially back on track for the PlayStation project with $1 left in our PlayStation bank account. But we still need to look up all the stuff that I bought there because if I was right, if my instincts were correct, we could actually start out tomorrow with some money in our fund. These were all the wildcard items I bought. Let's see how they do. All right, so Link Amiibo was 40 bucks. Yes, 63 after fees. Hi. Okay, this just got a little bit awkward. I'm gonna move. <laughs> like, don't mind me, sir. Just making a random YouTube video in your neighborhood. Croc 2 I just got because I saw that it was 25 bucks and it was 50 back at 2, dude, so I had a good feeling. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 41 after fees. $51 profit. Okay, this one was a bit of a miss. We're breaking even on that. Plus 68, plus $38 profit, leaving us with a total profit from this stop of $196. Oh, plus the $1 we had left over. Well, folks, it's a couple hours later. I'm still sitting in my trunk, but I'm now in the parking lot of a shopping mall waiting to get some ice cream with tomorrow's special guest who I think a lot of you will be very excited for. And as I sit here looking through this huge box of PlayStation games, I just can't help but think of what an absolute 180 this day has been from yesterday. I mean, for goodness sake, we went from six games to 24 games in one day. I'm just feeling so happy, super blessed. I'm especially stoked that we got two incredibly nostalgic games for me in Pac-Man and Crash. The single most expensive viewer suggested game, which has supplied so much of the music for this series. And even, dare I say, one of our fabled grail games. I just, I, I am over the moon. But folks, without further ado, let's tuck these puppies into bed. For the for the night. No, that that doesn't work either. cow folks what an absolutely stellar day of game hunting i have a feeling day four is going to be just as amazing but it's like 11 o'clock i've got to get to bed i will catch you guys tomorrow